Welcome to our home. Hi there. PJ here with Joe Nerd, Godfather, and Proto Man from Proto Retro with an obscure. For me, this is obscure because it's Ramco, 1984 toy company. And Ramco, for me, Ramco was Conan, um, Warrior Beasts, and a bunch of other things they made. They made a lot of figures that came out at the same time as He Man, and they were my faves. But me, for me, I never knew they made these figures. Zybots. Zybots. This is the the three pack. I would say, uh, what's it called? The gift set from consum 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 oh, consumer consumer distributor. distributor. Thank you. Consumer God, I miss that store. You yeah. had a lot of fond memories of that. Yeah, especially the catalogs. Oh, oh yeah, I have like fond memories section. of never getting anything. When I'm <laughs> yeah, from, yeah. I, I always I like oh, yeah. through the toy section. My whole like not not to, to <laughs> deviate a moment, but I've always had bad memories of. Seeing stuff in the catalog, signing up the paper, yep. going to the front, it's out of stock. and then the roll of the dice. Yeah, she goes back there, yeah. and then she would always come back empty-handed. And I knew the second she came back empty-handed, it was going to be, "I'm sorry, unfortunately, we don't have this in stock right now." You're right. I got a and few. I was like, it happened to me too, but I did get a few out of the ones I ordered. And there was one when I was working in a mall here in, in where we live here in Quebec. Uh, it was in the 90s, it was still open, and I would order stuff, and I was happy getting that stuff. And they had stuff still from the 80s, still in package, so I got a few rare pieces, if you could say, of, I think once a He-Man and stuff like that, and I opened them. That cops attack that you got yeah. really cheap, I know the whole story behind that even. Yeah, because that it's, was a, it's that a was, good story, I've heard it. But that's the consumer, anyway. there was, Consumers, when it went out of business, um, a guy, I, I don't know if he was from Longueuil or whatever, uh, he raided pretty much their overstock of crap. And it was just cases and cases of, of Power, Power, Power Rangers, Rangers and uh, Supernaturals and uh, two cops. cases of the cops attack. That one vehicle, yeah. Yeah, which is, and that's the biggest vehicle out of all of the cops' play yeah, sets. That's shit. And, well, yeah, it's not super great, but it's the biggest one of the bunch. But it's a rare piece. It's, yeah. Well, it not, and what obviously you paid for not as rare as we rare. thought right now. Yeah. But it, What we paid for it, at least, is is quite impressive. Like, I paid 10 bucks for it, which is... You know what? I paid 10. I'll confess, guys. What a waste. I actually, I actually bought this a little bit before you guys, and you I paid actually five. paid... No, I paid 30 for wow. it. Well, I didn't know, you know, like what it is is I, I think I stumbled upon this before you guys, Never maybe a little I bit paid. before you I guys too did. Much for it. And uh, the guy, the vendor, had two of them. Yeah. So, and I thought, holy crap, how is this possible? Like, he's got, and the box was like immaculate. mere mint. Yeah. It was immaculate. Like, he just pulled it out oh, of the yeah. shipping Oh, yeah, they, were, they were fresh out of the shipping case. But anyway, yeah. we'll get back to the consumer yeah, stuff. About that. Anyways, um, yeah. This is I like Ramco stuff because like I said they made all kinds of weird weird sets but I never knew they made this. So you know what? I'm not gonna transform this. I don't wanna break them. I know they're fragile. They came out in nineteen eighty four, like it says there, Ramco Toys Incorporated in New York, New uh, New it York says consumers distributing from right. Mississauga. By, yeah. And in well again Canada, which is interesting, made in Macaw, which was where a lot of uh Late Transformer toys were actually made. And, and interesting, the uh, transformation instructions actually printed on the box itself. Oh yeah, wow. yeah. Like on, like on the inside. No, on the front. In the, on front. the front. It's on the front. Right. Right. Oh, it just shows like okay, yeah, like yeah. how to do it. Well, and again, these obviously these characters have no name. So where's it, it made from? Made in? No, it says here made in Macaw. Macaw is where Macaw was where a lot of late uh, '80s toys were made. Macaw is it's it's another it's Asian Asia. country. I never oh heard of shoot! It. Okay. Yeah, like um, any any Micro Master Transformer yeah. has Macaw written on it. Oh. That's a good example. You'll oh. always see it. Um, so we're gonna pause for a second. Well, and come first back. We'll, we'll just go through okay. the vehicle yeah, modes vehicles, first. Yeah. So like you have like here it says a robot tractor trailer, and you have like this tr black truck here with the Z on the side, probably for the Zybot kind of logo here. It's, it invokes a very uh, you know, long nose Nemesis Optimus Prime kind yeah. of thing going on, or uh, Motormaster from the Stunticons. Then you got Robot Motorcycle, which is a yellow motorcycle. Uh, God, Transformer yellow motorcycles. The most I can think of is Treadshot from Energon, maybe, or you know, like uh, the Buzzsaw Energon cycle. And then you got Robot F16 Fighter. Again, 
you could say, hey, Starscream. Yeah, that's yeah. what I like to think of it, yeah. But, you know, it has the USAF, uh, you know, logo on the side. So pretty cool stuff, though, but I guess now we'll, we'll get to the transformation and we'll, we'll see uh, they're odd. the differences. Yeah, and they're, like I said, that was said before the video. They're, they're extremely fragile. They're very fragile. Mm -hmm. The yeah. motorcycle, I actually broke off a very small piece, and uh, it's okay in, in vehicle mode. In robot mode, it's okay as well, but very, very fragile. The plane, that one's a lot twisting and bending and things like that. I'm very afraid when I transform it. And believe it or not, the truck, I saw another video on YouTube. The guy had it. He actually, it's very simple to transform, but he actually broke it just before shooting. So, ah. so anyway, we'll leave it up to a uh, Proto Man to uh, mm. do the. The pressure's honors. on, Proto Man. The honors. Anyways, we'll be right back after this. We are back. So it looks like the first one here, this tractor trailer, it has a, a very similar transformation to uh, Road Ranger from the GoBot. All of them in general, I find very fascinating. The face sculpts are very similar to how the uh, Tonka GoBots used to look back in 82, 83, 84. Um, this one especially looks a lot like uh, Night Ranger, which was a motorcycle uh, GoBot, which was like blue. He looks a lot like Heatseeker, which was another GoBot, very similar transformation even. Uh, not as fragile, and this one exactly like Road Ranger, which was a Optimus Prime s kind of also uh, tractor trailer kind of thing going on, but really cool, and they're they're very nice. I mean, nice of chrome stickers to add the details, where it's but usually it's fragile, fragile like crazy. That's the only thing that's scary. But you know what? I wonder if they're worth anything because they're so fragile. They're very rare, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, what I've seen. The fact that they're so fragile probably makes them more valuable in this oh, yeah. condition. Yeah, complete. That, because that's, that's one thing that, like, before uh, they did reissues of the Transformer toys, the '80s ones, specifically '84, '85, um, a lot of the early uh, Autobot cars and stuff were worth so much money because it was so difficult to find them in good condition or to have their pieces. Uh, the old saying, you know, uh, one wrong twist and you get a mysterious third alt mode, a convertible. You know? I <laughs> broke it. <laughs> yeah. You would lose the roof. Um, but yeah, that's just it. So, I mean, it, it's the same thing with this. Like, to get, you know, when toys are extremely breakable and you, you get them in a condition that is not broken, especially with the box and everything, this is very impressive. Oh, yeah. Um, even the box is in pretty freaking good shape, you know, all things considered. This is, you know, almost a 30 year old toy when you think about it yeah next year technically it would be a 30 year old toy mm -hmm. so this is a real nice um piece of uh, robot memorabilia and especially if you're a transforming robot fan like me stuff like this is always fascinating just from an engineering perspective and i mean what was in the minds of the guys when doing it or even the origins of these mold if they were ports from overseas which happened a lot uh during the 80s a lot of this stuff was uh not originally created locally but were instead uh molds and designs that were brought over from other countries so yeah and actually something also uh, just to mention uh, i don't know if you you found out in the book i was actually we're talking about this while we're transforming it that they have like a special mode in which they have like a maybe because they made like a dozen the this toy line of figures and like about like 10 of them or something like that they actually combine into a big robot yeah they make 10 there's, see, there, there's 10 of them they made, and there's a box set of 10 that you could... They made 10 in all, and then Zo Zobot... Zybot. Zybot's 2, uh, Series 2, they only made 3. That's it. But I would have been curious. i never seen it. I, I tried to find it, but yeah, I couldn't there's find not a, a lot picture. Of information. I couldn't find a picture of the combined form of, of what they've... I've seen the uh, box art covers, but... Anyways. <laughs> I like them. They're cool. Yeah. Anyways... Thanks a lot, Proto Man from Proto Retro, for helping us out with this obscure figures from Godfather's collection. Yeah. <laughs> that goes to him. Uh, I could say is stay plastic. I'm flabbergasted. I don't know what to say about this. <laughs> it's fucking weird. But I love What's your rate? What's your rate? rate? Me? Because they're fragile, I give it a one. For me, I, I would give it like. No, wait, I'm not finished. Because oh, they're fragile, okay, I give it a fragile. one. But because of. The details they went into it and the art box and everything, I give it a four. Yeah, I would honestly, I would give it a four out of five just because stuff like this, 
um, different. Situation. And not to mention, I, I get a feeling chances are this was the cheaper alternative. Uh, probably in consumers, it probably wasn't very expensive. This, it was again because it was probably done in house because it's done through consumers. Mm. Uh, you know, in '84, what was really huge in '84, there was also transforming robots. So they were That's clearly it. jumping on the wave of that popularity. Especially in '83, was GoBots predated uh, Transformers also. So. It's interesting. It's interesting. I give it a four out of five just because it's it's a fascinating piece of engineering. Yeah, I agree. Four out of five, but for what, I give it a one because of, of the for fragileness. That's why. Yeah. But I give it I give it a four out of five because they're unique. They are rare, and I like Ramco. And I never knew Ramco made these figures. I do know sometimes it's because I do read a lot. I do read from this book a lot, and it's in there. But like I said, sometimes I read. I've read this book thousands of times from since when it came out in the early '90s till now, and it is one of my reference books. And yeah, they are kind of an obscure book, but they're, they don't make them anymore. Anyways, I'm out. Thanks a lot, guys, for doing this video. We did a four-way four video. I like it. It's cool. Stay plastic and roll out.